What's going on guys, John Elder here from Codemy.com and in this video, I wanna talk about while loops. All right, in the last video, we looked at multiple conditional statements. In the next couple of videos, I wanna look at several different loops. In this video, we're gonna look at while loops. But before we get started, if you like this video and wanna see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, and check out Codemy.com where I have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube to get $22 off membership. That's all my courses, videos, and books for a one-time fee at just $27, which is insanely cheap. Okay, so while loops, super popular, super useful. You'll use these forever. And a loop does exactly what it sounds like. It loops. It goes around and around and around, and it keeps doing something until something happens. What? Whatever you tell it. So uh, they're very similar. Well, we'll see in just a second. So let's create one of these real quick. While loops require a counter, we need to keep track of how many times it loops around, right? So I'm just gonna create a variable called counter and let's just set it equal to zero. Now to create a while loop, we just call while and then we make a comparison operator. So let's say while counter is less than 10 and then a colon and then we wanna do something, right? So take a look at this sort of uh, layout here. This should look familiar to you. It looks an awful lot like an if statement. In fact, if we changed while to if, this would be an if statement, right? A conditional statement. That's why I like the while loop because it looks similar to the if else statement. So I don't have to memorize a different you know, syntax. So that's kind of cool. Uh, so let's go while. And now let's just print out, oops, what did I do? There we go. So print, um, let's say, the counter, the, the count is, and then let's concatenate and let's put in the counter. Now, the counter is a number and we're trying to concatenate it to a string. So we need to convert this to a string by just calling the string function. Okay, so that should work. Now, what happens is this will start, our counter is zero, right? So it'll go while zero is less than 10, spit this out on the screen and then loop around and start again. And it'll say while counter zero is less than 10, print this out, loop around, do it again. Zero less than 10, print it out, loop around, zero less than 10. And it just keeps going around and around and around forever. That's what's called an infinite loop. That's bad, that will crash your program every time. And don't worry, you're gonna do it. I've done it more times than I care to admit. I forget to increment our counter. So we also, therefore need to increment our counter each time. So we just do that, we'll go counter. We remember the assignment operators, we can uh, plus equal, plus equal one. So every time we'll add one to our counter. So now zero is less than 10. So it'll say the count is zero and it'll add one. So zero plus one is one. Now it loops around. One is less than 10. So it'll print out the count is one. It'll add one. One plus one is two. So we loop back around, two is less than 10, add one, three, add one, four, five, six, until we get up to nine or 10, and then something will happen. So let's just save this and take a look and see what happens. So come up here and run this guy, and boom, the count is zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And you notice it stops. It doesn't say the count is 10, why not? Well, if we look at this, so let's say nine. Nine is less than 10, so it says the count is nine. It adds one, nine plus one is 10. Now we loop back around. Now it says, is 10 less than 10? Nope, 10 is the same as 10. 10 is equal to 10. Therefore, this is false. As soon as this hits a false, it stops. It doesn't go anymore. That's it. So pretty simple. Uh, we could use all of our comparison operators in here. So if we went uh, less than or equal to, if we save this, now it will print out that 10, right? See, the count is 10 because course, 10 is less than or equal to, it's equal to, so it will do that. So if you wanna print out that last number, that's how you would do that, pretty simple. While loops are just, I mean, any loop is really just a fundamental computer programming concept. They're one of those things right up there with variables, right up there with if statements, else statements, you're gonna use them forever. You always wanna loop and do different things based on something. In this case, the something is, you know, comparing whether our counter is below a certain number. Uh, just very, very important, and you'll use these forever. 
So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, and check out Codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube to get $22 off memberships. They pay just $27 to access all my courses, hundreds of videos, and the PDFs of all my best-selling coding books. Join over 50,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from Codemy.com. We'll see you in the next video.